Today we are opening a $90 Funko Pop mystery box from Boom Loot. So check this out. What is going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Jeremy. So we do have another Boom Loot box. It's been a little while since we've opened one. So in case you're not sure or have never heard of Boom Loot, they're uh, like Funko Pop store in California, actually like 25 minutes from where I used to live, which really annoys me because I never went to see their store. Didn't even know they existed until we moved back to Michigan. But anyways, it's been a little bit since we've opened a Boom Loot box. I really like Boom Loot. I've only opened a few of them, but I've seen a lot of other YouTubers like Funko YouTube channels open Boom Loot in the past. They always, they always do a good job. But yeah, it's been a while. They do... A, they do a lot of like heavy hitter boxes. So a few of their boxes in a row were all like $300, $400, $500. I'm not on that level yet. I don't know if I'll ever be on that level because that's a lot of money for a mystery box. Every once in a while it'll be fun though, right? That'd be fun. But let's break down the contents and details of this box. So I'm gonna use my cheat sheet because because I'm going to, because I'm allowed to. This is Boom Loot Volume 107. So they're $90 a box. There's always three pops per box. They always give three pops per box, guaranteed value. There was 35 total boxes in this one. So not a huge run. I'll put the pictures up, top hits on the screen. Now these aren't all the top hits. They just show like a glimpse of them to get an idea, like a rough idea of what you're gonna, what you could possibly hit. So one thing that almost didn't make me buy this run is there's a lot of like horror ones, but that's okay. I took the risk, it's a gamble. There are a lot of them that I would love to hit. So there was uh, Lady Rainicorn from Adventure Time. I love that pop, I love Adventure Time. Such a good show, the NFT. Uh, there was a Freddy Funko as Chewbacca. We had the Bulbasaur Pokemon Center, the Pearlescent one, those look amazing like everyone was like given pokemon center like a hard time and funko a hard time like oh yeah sure they're the same molds but when you take those ones out of box that pearlescent like the shine on those funko pops they're they're beautiful like they're fantastic and i so pokemon center dropped the bulbasaur one like at like 11 o'clock and i didn't see the email until way later in the day and they had sold out. So I never got the Bulbasaur one. And then you can barely see it in the picture, but there is a Prince John from Robin Hood. Excuse me, sorry. Prince John from Robin Hood at the very top. You can just barely see his name. I would love that. Man, I don't know what, I feel like I always have some sort of issue. Like every, <laughs> I always have like, I didn't eat any fruities though, I promise. No fruities this time. But yeah, we got it right here. I'm excited. It's been a little bit since we've opened a Boom Loot box. I already said that once, so I don't know why I'm telling you again. You already know that. But let's get into it. I mean, I don't think I have anything else to say. Yeah, 35 boxes, three pops, 90 bucks. I have really liked Boom Loot, I would probably say is, They've got to be a top, top three for me for mystery boxes. Like, I really like Smy World, Pop King Paul, obviously. But yeah, Boom Loop. Okay, hold on a second. I got to move. I've got a coffee on my table because I am really, really tired. But, oh wait, they put these in sorters, I think. Let me double check so we can actually, I'm pretty sure we can look at these. Because I think, yeah, they put them in sorters. Okay, cool. No tipping it on its side, nothing like that. I will show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Just calm down. I know you're like, come on, Jeremy, show us what you're talking about. We're dying to know. Well, this is what it looks like when you get them. So they got their, their logo, their sticker, three pops and sorters. Usually the middle one is the top hit. Not always, but usually. So we're gonna slice and dice. Ugh, whoa. This knife that I upgraded, well, it's a downgrade really, because it's an old knife that I've had for a while and it's really dull. So, just make sure I'm not, 
Okay, cool. All right, we are getting there, I promise. There we go. We got three. We got three. We got, look at this, look at three of them right here. This one should be the top hit in this box. Not a guarantee, but usually from, I've only opened like three boom loot boxes maybe, but most of the time, like when I watch like Pop and Duo open them, usually the middle one is the top hit. <sighs> kind of nervous. I really would love, honestly, if I could choose one, it would be the Lady Rainicorn NFT. I wasn't buying NFTs when the Adventure Time ones dropped, <clears throat> so I missed out on them. I do have the Freddy and Jake suit one because I traded for the royalty. But I would love, I would really like to get all the Adventure Time NFTs because I think the show is great. I love watching it. And the NFTs look fan, they're, they're fantastic. They're awesome looking. They have great detail. I don't know why I'm still talking. Let's get into the first pop. All right. Three, two, one. What'd we get? What's socks? Okay, it's from Lightyear. I was like, I don't recognize this one. It is from Lightyear. I have no idea what the value on these are. I don't, most of these Lightyear pops did not do very well. It's a cute one. I've never seen the movie, so I don't know. I didn't really, I don't know. It's not that I don't want to watch it. I just wasn't excited about it. I Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too old or, or I don't know. It's a great looking pop though, don't get me wrong. Like, you're probably yelling at me, oh, you can't believe you don't like it. I, I never said I don't like it. I just, I don't, I'm assuming it's Buzz's cat or something. I don't know, but it's cool. Flocked ones are always fun. I like the flocked ones. All right, I can't imagine this holding that much value though. We'll stop talking about it. We'll check it at the end. All right, second pop. Uh, come on. All right, <laughs> let's go. Three, two, one. What'd we get? Oh, no way. Look at that. That was in the picture. That's cool. I don't have this one. These are amazing. I love these. The pearlescent. I, this was on my list. Man, that's like, is that two boxes in a row that I've gotten something? I'm, I mean, like, not besides the box battles, but like, check that out. That is awesome. Yeah, these pearlescent ones, they're really nice. Like, they look way better. I don't, there's something about them. I took one of them out of, the, out of the box. I think it was like the Mewtwo one. And I was surprised at, at how nice they look. Like, they're really nice. So now I don't know if this is our top hit or if that was our top hit. Because they don't always put like... All the pictured pops are not necessarily like top hits. Like they'll just put a picture of all the pops of some of the pops. So let's do the last box. Oh man. All right. Three, two, one. What is it? Oh, no way. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this, I love these stickers. This is a Hall H Freddy Funko from San Diego Comic-Con. This is great. I'm not sure what this is valued. I don't remember if this was in the picture or not. I'll have to check, but it's 6,800 pieces. So not crazy limited, but there's something about the Hall H stickers, like the Ahsoka is really popular. I love this. This is really cool. And I'm really trying to grow our Freddy collection, like aggressively. <laughs> this is great. I don't know which, which um, 2022. So this is from, yeah, San Diego Comic-Con 2022, Hall H, Freddy Funko, 6,800 pieces. This is awesome. This is a, see what I'm talking about? Boom loot, they come through. We got two amazing pops. I don't know how I'm holding them. Like, well, what am I doing here? These are awesome. Wow. I can't believe we got one on our list. That's what, like, like, wow. Oh. This is cool. I I love the Hall H stickers. I think they look so nice. Like, yeah, I don't even know. And the socks is okay. Like, it's not a bad pop. I'm, I just don't know much about it. But Freddy Funko, San Diego Comic-Con, Hall H, 
That's awesome. This might be the top hit, or the Bulbasaur might be the top hit. I know the pearlescent ones hold some pretty good values. Let's check it out. I will be right back. All right, we are back with some values. This wasn't a top box by any means, but this was a really good box. I'm very happy with it. I say it all the time. If you can pull Funko Pops out of a mystery box that you can add to your collection, that's a good mystery box, at least in my opinion. Other people would say otherwise, like Reese, I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah. In my opinion, if you can add Funko Pops to your collection from opening a mystery box, that was the mystery box for you. And we are doing that with two out of three of these. That's really good. So let's start it off, lowest value. So the socks from Lightyear, Funko Shop exclusive, flocked. I do really enjoy the flocked pops. This one is $21, so not bad actually. Considering it's a fairly new pop, that's still holding a, a pretty good value. So 21 bucks. Now, Bulbasaur, you heard me say it. <laughs> this, this was in the picture. This is one that I said I would like to have. Uh, this one is $36. These pearlescent Pokemon Center ones are actually holding a really decent value for, I, I hope they don't restock them. They might because they did the same thing with the, the um, in case you didn't know those Afternoon with Eevee figures that they came out with, you might not even know what I'm talking about. Um, those were made by Funko and they were really hard to get when they first dropped, but Funko restocked them on the Pokemon Center. And I mean, I never got them for value anyways. I just got them because they're really cool. But 36 bucks is really good for that. And that is one that I really wanted. I'm glad I have it. That's awesome. All right, Freddy Funko Hall H, 6,800 pieces. This is from 2022 San Diego Comic-Con. Um, 50 bucks for this, <laughs> that's, I mean, it's not a crazy expensive Freddy Funko, but 50 bucks is not bad. Like, I really like this one. I know it's not like themed, like everyone's like, oh, I want a themed Freddy Funko. But I like how he's like holding the bag. It's got like all the posters and stuff in it. And then he's got the, I love San Diego, a uh, little pin on. The backpack is awesome. I'm trying to think of what else. I just like these. I like these like theme, like uh, convention themed pops. And again, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. I love the looks of the Hall H sticker. I think it's an awesome sticker. So this is a really cool pop and 50 bucks is, is really good value. So like I said, not a crazy top box, but we paid 90 for the box. We are, our value, total box value was $107. So we're ahead 17 bucks, which isn't crazy good, but it's good. And it doesn't really matter for this situation because I don't really resell much at all. Two of these pops are going in my collection. The other one, I'll, I'll figure out what to do with it. I don't know, we'll see. It'll probably go on Mercari to be honest with you, but these pops will proudly be on display <laughs> on some of my shelves. I'm stoked, like this is awesome. Super happy with this box. Like, <sighs> Boom Loot, they do such a good job with mystery boxes. If you haven't bought a Boom Loot box yet, not sponsored, just buy a Boom Loot box. They're a lot of fun, you'll enjoy them. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Again, I am thrilled. This was an amazing box. This was super fun. So yeah, just wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to watch the video. Make sure you like it. Um, check out our Patreon. There's a link on the channel homepage. We do monthly mystery boxes, $11.11. There's only one tier. There is also a $3 tier, just support. Like everything goes back into the channel. And then the mystery boxes, I keep them cheap because it's like just a way, like a thank you, I guess. We're not really making anything. Just, if you want to check it out, go check it out. It's really cool. Um, and then just subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. We are officially on our way to 1,000. I think at the time of recording, we were at like 853 or something like that. So we're pushing, we're grinding. Really appreciate it. All the support. It means, again, it means the world to me. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what your favorite pull of the day was. I'm kind of, mine's a toss up between the Freddy and the Bulbasaur. I don't really know which one. Probably would have to say the Bulbasaur because it was one that I really wanted. wanted. But yeah, let me know what your favorite hit was. And then, just have a good day, be kind to each other, and remember to smile.